mates, welcome back to my YouTube channel World of Tech, reviewing, still reviewing, the P47 Thunderbolt. Uh, but this time it's uh, from Revell, the Revell company, Revell brand. It's the American one from the 1990. The, in the one thirty second scale, it's a big one, it's a big model, uh, still um, uh, wrapped in the original uh, Zelovan, the P47, the Razorback. That's the version of this Thunderbolt with this uh, bonny, bonny uh, nickname from the Lone Eagles squadron. Uh, I will take this um, transclear wrapping okay, and show the box how it looks like without that cover. As always I really like to mention who painted the, the box art. It's Shepherd. Shepherd from the 90s. I insist it's uh, from one thirty second scale. It contains parts to build just one model inside. Well, uh, that's uh, the main cover uh, features. Very nice painting. And wh what we have on the sides, detail features, scale model, of World War II P-47 Thunderbolt Long Range Fighter Escort, removable engine access panels, detailed single seat cockpit with sliding canopy, nice, authentic conventional landing gear, detailed radial engine molded in silver and clear, colorful USAAF mark ma markings. Yep. Okay, it's written in French either. That's uh, a picture of finished, finished uh, model, painted model, with the details of this uh, cowling uh, partially opened, uh, showing the inside parts of the engine. Um, the details about the canopy, uh, slicing canopy. Uh, how the model looks like uh, parked. Uh, very nice. On this side you will see the a side view of this aircraft parked. The reference of from Revell is 4554. Another view of the aircraft, very chubby, chubby fuselage but with great nice performances. Uh, information written in um, four languages English, Spanish, French and Dutch. It's made in USA um, in 1990. This is the barcode. Nothing uh, at the back of the box. So let's open it up in order to see what's inside. As I told you, it's a big one. It is still in the original bag. Okay, this is uh, brand new or uh, in mint condition. This is uh, the building instructions. What, uh, what else we got in the Transclear canopy and windshield in two pieces. Uh, uh, an adver advertisement from Revell, some cars, and get a free catalogue from Revell. Mail to Revell PO Box 48575, Chicago, Illinois. Well, and the original um, water stickers, kind of yellowed need some restoration, easy restoration, in order to um, get it uh, the, the white colors back. Let's start with the building instruction. It's folded very nicely. This is a uh, 
tabloid, tabloid, tabloid size, and I counted the pieces, four, um, 56 pieces, the kit number 4554, one thirty second scale, this is the history, little history, or short history of the Thunderbolt, um, read the instructions before begin um, the um, painting list metallic flat black red green aluminium olive drab interior green brown skin color light gray yellow that's it let's start with the first step how to assemble the cockpit as always the pilot with it uh, how to assemble the cockpit uh, into the in, uh, inner side of the left, now right fuselage, half, half. The engine, how to assemble the, the cylinder, radials in the cylinder engine, too many pieces, very very detailed. Uh, they recommend not to glue, not to glue this part because uh, it's gotta be with some movement for maybe spinning uh, the the propeller. How to to finish the the engine assembling? Very very detailed. That's the reason why the one thirty second scale is much better to to detail. Assembling the the engine inside the fuselage. Assembling the halves of the. Um, uh, main wings with uh, gun barrels incorporated. Decide with the pipe pipet. Uh, how to assemble the wings uh, with the landing gear doors. If you want to show it flying in the flying position, you need a display stand, of course. But it 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 is not with display stand. So you have to build this way with the landing gear outside. Um, the tanks, uh, how to assemble other tanks with uh, the racks, uh, assembling the other side of the few fuselage hulls, um, assembling the stabilizers, the rear landing gear with the doors, it's retractive, very nice. Two option, options in flying mode or on the ground. And behind it, uh, finishing the steps, applying the cockpit, sorry, the canopy and the windshield, the antenna mast, um, ending the, the cowling, the engine cowling and the doors, the propeller, four blades propeller. And the makings, top view, bottom view, side, this side is the, the right side, this is the left side, with all the details about the, how to apply the, or paint, stickers, water stickers. Well, that's all about the building instructions, let's check the nice water stickers uh, very good quality but unfortunately the white zones are kind of yellowed we need to restore it with the sunlight more ahead but at this time this is the looking for this um, original decals or water stickers well let's check the parts as I told you it is it is still uh, sealed factory sealed in the original plastic bag so I wanna cut it for this review that's very important to cut it and see and detail 
the features of the plastic parts very big model very big uh, it measures uh, around uh, I, I, I wrote it 30, 33 centimeters long by um, 39 centimeters of wingspan okay I've got I think I see sorry too much rivets and uh, um, raised panel lines we gotta be so careful uh, sanding or something like that oh too many flashes sorry okay this is the first sprue with these parts the other sprue the left uh, sorry the right um, fuselage unfortunately the fin is not movable it's fixed it's uh, no movement for the fin it should be movable because of the scale anyway okay the pilot with two halves for the pilot due to the scale the um, landing uh, the wheels are made in four halves uh, the cover of the cowling uh, I mean the, the doors cowling doors hmm good second sprue third sprue with the propeller four blades propeller with a very detailed engine very very nice we gotta be careful with the thin parts these thin um, uh, parts it could be get broken so be well wow, that's it I told you that's about to this uh, it's kind of damaged I need to fix it more ahead okay the halves the halves of the main wings with a lot of rivets uh, the inner part of the landing gear compartment well the gun, gun barrels incorporated the tanks for the aircraft third um, sprue and the fourth uh, with the other uh, wing halves the doors landing gear doors the struts the rear uh, landing gear wheel and the halves of the stabilizers four sprues and the last sprue is for the canopy very nice trans clear uh, finishing no scratches no cracks and uh, this impressive uh, windshield Okay, very good, very nice. Well, that's all about this uh, wonderful review from Revel, this uh, excellent detailed model P47 Razorback. With these makings, again, from Lone Eagle Squadron. Well, that's it for now, and uh, let's go on to the next review. Bye-bye.